Shalom, 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 Shalom. Before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakurash. All right, with Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rechakwadash, that's the Holy Spirit. And we're also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. You know, you just saw that uh, quick video clip, all right, of a truck driver. And he was filling up, you know, his um, his semi. And it cost him almost $1,100, all right? And uh, like how he said, are you all going to be prepared to pay, you know, $11 for, uh, you know, milk? All right, are you people going to be prepared to pay, you know, $10 for, you know, bread? For a loaf of bread, all right? You know? This is what's coming. This is the reality, man. All right, what's about to hit America very soon, you know? And you see a lot, a lot of you people, you know, you're you're gonna be taken, uh, you're gonna be taken by you know these uh, harsh times, man. And the reason why is because you're not hearkening to the prophets, all right? All right, and the prophets are doing what? Speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. and the Lord is telling you Israelites, all right, you so-called Black Latinos and Native Americans, and also you know we have some of our people that actually look like the other nations. But their, you know, seed line, all right, go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we know that through the Spirit, all right, ultimately, you Israelites, all right, you're not taking heed, okay? So you're going to, you know, be destroyed by what? The famines, all right, that are, you know, fast approaching, you know, the riots. Because that's what's going to happen um, uh, very soon. You're going to start seeing more uh, um, crimes, okay? More, uh, you know, uh, uh, occur, okay? You know, uh, I just saw a video uh, yesterday, they, they have uh, people out here in the Chicagoland area, they're literally stealing gas tanks from people's cars, all right? You know, they're uh, they're drilling, um what is that, holes in a gas tank and stealing uh, gas, man. Uh, they, people are starting to get uh, real desperate out here. So imagine how this stuff is going to be, all right, in the next coming months, the next year. Hey, all hell is about to break loose, all right? Oh, you got something? Yeah, real quick, um, this is Matthew 24, and this is Yahweh Shai, you know, the only begotten son of Yahweh, all right, who the world ignorantly, ignorantly uh, refers to as JC, or Jesus, right? Matthew 24 and verse 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold, mm. you know, because, uh, look, when, when Jake's can't afford, you know, the inflated prices, they're going to start stealing, they're going to start stealing from each other, jacking one another, all right, and eventually evading you know each other's homes you know you think your friend or your cousin or your loved ones that that you grew up with or know so well you know uh would be on your side no they're, they're gonna fend for themselves you see they know what you got they're gonna they know the layout of your house your crib and they're gonna go in there all right and, and take your shit willingly god i got two precepts to back you up Ak. this is second ezra chapter 15 and i'm gonna start at 19 a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword mm -hmm. and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Right. You know, those trucks, um, you know, prepare for fewer and fewer trucks to be on the road eventually to none. All right. These cities are, are going to be through. There's not going to be these semi trucks bringing in supplies and goods anymore. Mm -hmm. All right. Because the price of, of everything is going so much you know, to you know, through the roof that uh, you know it's going to be unbearable for these so-called Americans, man. Yeah, you see, a lot of these truck drivers, all right. You know, a lot of them are going to be targets, all right. Yeah. You're going to have um, people literally, um, you know, going after you know uh, these uh, uh, these semis because they know that there's supplies on them. And I remember, I'll say this because a uh, quick testimony: um, when the pandemic, you know, was um, in full effect when it first started, right? And uh, there was really nobody out here like that. I remember seeing um, early in the morning when I was working, when I would uh, bypass particular places, you had um, these semis, you know, they were unloading, you know, uh, the goods, right? And I um, seen um, security guards basically um, escorting them, all right? And that was happening to, uh, you know, in a lot of areas, okay? They were already preparing for that stuff, Okay. So how much more when it really hits, you know, this place, man, mm -hmm. okay, when it's in full effect? Like I said, these truck drivers, they're about to be targets, okay? And then um, hey, um, the brother brought it out, you know, how 
Hey, the price is going to be so uh, so high. Look, it, it, these these truck drivers, they're um, a lot of them are going to start getting screwed with their pay, man. Mm -hmm. All right, they're going to start getting screwed with their pay, and then they're going to just say, you know what, the hell with this. I'm not going to work anymore. Or they're going to uh, go on uh, a, um, a protest or, or yeah, a protest, right? And they're going to have no uh, uh, semi-trucks coming to the city like the brother just said, man. And that's already been going on. Check out the situation in Canada. And it's been happening here in the, in the States, too. It's just been, uh, um, it's been, uh, it hasn't been pushed on the media, okay? Like how it was in Canada, you know, how the situation in Canada um, was being pushed. But stuff has been going on out here, too, okay? So it's only going to get worse. So you people are about to, uh, about to suffer because you're not going to have, uh, uh, you know, the, the basic necessities. All right, and uh, let me get this one too. This is a uh, Second Ezra, uh, chapter six and uh, twenty-two. And suddenly shall the sown places mm. appear unsown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Okay, so you know overnight, so to speak, your your places where you get your basic goods. Okay, they're not going to have any supplies. All right, they're they're not they're not going to have any supplies. All right, we, we, we you know. You, you know, your food, all right, your clothing, your electronics, okay, you know, what do you call them, your, uh, your uh, durable goods, all these things are going to go, man, okay, mm -hmm. and that's because they're, they, uh, they're not going to, uh, the, uh, the trucks aren't going to be coming in, and I'll say this too, eventually too, at some point, this government's going to um, um, enforce martial law, and they're going to basically barricade these cities, Yep. That's coming too cuz a, a lot of chaos is about to occur and that's going to give um the government the justification to enforce martial law and then basically no one's going to come in or come out. Okay? Yeah, exactly. This is, uh you got more? Oh, yeah, I got a little mm -hmm. more. Verse 23 and the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man heareth they shall suddenly be afraid. At that time shall friends fight one another against one another mm. like enemies okay so that's coming hey the brother brought it out all right uh um you're gonna have family members you know <coughs> writing one another they're gonna be you know you know stealing killing each other friends neighbors that have known each other forever all right they're gonna come after you um one another all right and it says and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein the springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. So, <coughs> so I was going into your water supplies. Okay. Hey, they're not going to be, um, your water's going to get cut at some point. Okay. You're not going to have the luxury of taking a, a shower every day, of just going to the faucet and, you know, grabbing some water. It's going to be through soon. Right, yeah, this, this uh, you know, Esau Edom is in control of all these things. <laughs> Remember, the earth is given into his hand. You know, if they cut off your gas, there's no hot water, there's no no cooking, oh, yeah, yep. there's nothing. All right, they could also cut off your water as well. All right, they control all these things, man. This is 2 Ezra 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, mm. for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and mm. swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men. So, uh, can I go uh, um, elaborate on the one point? It says, uh, um, there shall, uh, where does it say? It says, uh, one people shall stand up and fight against another. All right? And there's going to be all sorts of um, uh, a war. I guess you say, for lack of words, wars going on. There's going to be. Proxy you know, wars, yeah. yeah you know, there's going to be. Uh, you're going to have actual warfare. I'm talking about, like, with military troops, all right? With, you know, the great kingdoms fighting one against another. Okay? You're going to have. Class wars, you're gonna have race wars, food riot wars. Okay, these things are gonna literally occur. All sorts of, of warfare is about to hit, you know, this world, man. Okay, from all these different sects, man. So it's gonna be real chaotic. That's why uh, when you uh, uh, the verse above said "woe into the world," which means destruction. A lot of death and destruction is coming. Okay, and this is all ultimately what. The judgment of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. It's gonna get into it. Keep reading, Ark. 
Come on, verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men, you know, uh, 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 the people uprising against the government and invading yeah, one yeah, another. Yeah, that's going to happen soon, man. Yeah. You already see it. These, these people, just the, uh, with the gas prices, you know, skyrocketing, people are getting real pissed off, especially those so-called right-wingers, man. Those far right. But even I'll say a lot of these so-called, you know, the leftists, right? They're even like looking at, um, you know, out here we got King Biden, okay, as you know, the head of America. Everyone's looking at him, with, you know, you know, with a stink face, man. Like, what's this guy doing? Everybody's looking at this guy. What the hell, you know, in their minds, they're like, what the hell is this guy doing, man? He's doing uh, all these things, all right, in the world. You know, he's helping out Ukraine, okay. He's, you know, putting. All these sanctions on Russia, and it's doing nothing but hurting the American people, the common person. So they're like you getting to a point, like what the fuck, basically. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna start rising up, man, and start. They're gonna start. Uh, I've been saying this for some time, man. Eventually, look. Um, it's like like how it's going on out there, and like in certain parts of Europe. Look, people are gonna start attacking government buildings. They're gonna go after government officials. They're going to, you know, start, try to, um, you know, uh, kidnap them and do whatever they got to do, man. This is coming very soon. And those, I'll say this, those lower level officials, like, you know, your aldermans, the mayors of, you know, certain cities. They may even grab a person from the Senate, you know, here and there. Those people are going to get th that judgment, you know, by the people. Mm -hmm. And the only ones that are really going to so-called escape, all right, are those, like, super high level officials, man. Those top tier politicians, man. That's it. But those lower level ones, best believe they're they're about to get smoked, man. Right. Back in verse 16, second Ezra 15 and 16, in the middle, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, mm. and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Alright? There's not gonna be 911. Alright, they're not gonna regard uh the laws of the land or whatnot, alright? It's gonna be the wild, wild west out here, literally. All right, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Why? Because martial law. All right, the military is going to step in. All right, they're going to barricade the neighborhoods, the cities, the states. All right, so you can't pass through freely anymore. You know, they showed you that in that movie with Justin Timberlake, Time. Uh, verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. You know, you know, in, in Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, it, it, you know, Jeremiah tells you that there's men going to be holding their their stomachs like like a, a woman in travail, man. All right, because they don't know where to turn to. They don't know who to call upon. They have no hope. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of, of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You know, but uh, let me go to the next chapter real quick. Um, where is it? And as that scripture said, and I think it was verse 18, it, you know, said all this is happening because of the pride, man, of the cities. Yep. That's why all these great miseries are going to uh, come upon this place. Because the people in this world, they don't believe in Yahweh Bashim al Shai. They don't believe in his laws, his standards, okay, that he, uh, you know, that, that's put into place, okay? They, they you know, a um, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, as the scriptures say. So that's why a, a famines, death, destruction, chaos is coming. Right. Okay, cause you 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 people, man, and you 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 people are, are uh, just straight demons, man. Completely disrespectful, and you just need to get you know exterminated. You're like little roaches, man. You need to be exterminated. God, for uh, Second Ezra sixteen and twenty two, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, Ooh. and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. That's right. And the dead shall be cast out as dung, as shit, <laughs> and there shall be no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. Again, for their pride. All these people are through, man. Here it is. They trusted in America and its ways, you know, believing that, hey, this is just a little little hump in the road. We'll get through this. Nah, this is permanent, man. This America is going downhill fast, and it's not coming back up. Verse 24, there shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The trees shall give fruit and who shall gather them? 
The grapes shall ripen, and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men. All right? So that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. Yeah, so basically, you're going to have so much death and chaos out here. Look, at some point too, right? This is after, after the fact uh, um, that all, you know, all these trucks are, you know, they're not coming in and all that. Look, there's not even going to be farmers out there, you know, tilling the ground. Okay? Gathering the grapes. All right, yeah, that that goes for both. I'll say it like this: uh, that goes for both the farmers and uh, uh, just the, the common, you know, worker at these, you know, uh, uh, what do you call this? These like plants and all that stuff, you know, factories that you know, you got the big companies, right? You know, they own the factories, they get everything sorted out, and then they ship it off. All all these workers are gonna be, they're not gonna be around in that day, cause everyone's gonna be either dead or they're gonna be running for their damn lives, man. Oh, it tells you in the next uh, oh, ver verse 28, for, a, for of a city there shall be ten left in two of the field, which shall hide themselves in the thick groves and in the clefts of the rocks, man, because they're going to be terribly afraid, all right? They're, they're not going to know who to trust, who to go to, you it's, see? It's going to be like that uh, movie Black Summer, yeah. or um, that t TV series that was on um, Netflix. You know, the, the, the especially the second season. The first season was, you know, great as well. But that second season, man, it showed you what it's going to look like of, you know, the collapse of the society. Right. It shows you that you can't trust anybody. Everyone's, you know, out for themselves. Okay? You mm. know, those zombies are basically, that, that represents the, when these people are in a, a state of, you know, starvation. Okay? When they're in their complete beast state, they're going to be chasing you down, trying to eat you. Yeah, 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 yeah you're the... Uh, you know, that the hamburger. You you know you're you're the steak. You're what's on the menu. Yeah, you're you're what's on the menu. All right for that day. Okay, that, that's literally um, you know what's about to happen. So it's gonna be real, real scary. It really is. It's gonna be real scary. And if you don't have your how about Shmuel shot, you are absolutely through. You're done. Okay. You have no protection. All right from what's about to you know come to this world. Con Matthew 24 and 21 again Yahweh shall be speaking in red for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be all right this is going to be a time like never before you know what I'm saying and that and that time's coming to America Babylon the great all right she's going out with a big bang man and and this is just the beginning of it that's right that's pretty much it. And with that, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechakwadash, the bonds to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught us his truth and salutations to the Akim pushing his word in truth and sincerity with charity. Shalom, Wa, Ababa, Baal.